everyone, my name is Tamara Chambers and this is Tamara's Never Seen. And today I'm watching Indian in the Cupboard. It should be named Native American in the Cupboard, but the 90s were a time. I know absolutely nothing about this film. I know it's a 90s film. I know people say it's weird but good. It's what I've heard from friends and that's all, that's it. Was it Disney? No, right? Was this like a movie that came to theaters? Was this something that you watched on TV? I have no idea what this movie is at all. So anyways, I'm excited, let's do it. Okay, cupboards. Nah, 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 nah. Nah, 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 nah. Just do it. That was Dark. Also, it's literally, it's just like a, it's an Indian in a cupboard. I thought that maybe, I don't know, I thought there might be something else going on. <laughs> it was literally just an Indian in a cupboard. Great. Again, Native American in a cupboard, but the night. I'm Native American, so I can say that. I can make that joke. I can make that observation. Basically, this story is just about this kid named Omri who gets a magic cupboard, the magic key, and can bring toys to life. And then it's him like very carefully taking care of this small little Native American. And it's so odd. This is like that rabbit movie that I watched, Watership Down. It's like that, where it's like, this is a kid's film? <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's pretty dark. It's weirdly dark for a kid's film. And I, I honestly, I enjoyed it. It had more heart than I thought it was going to have. It's a little slow at times, but it ended and I was like, I think, I mean, I think I got something from that. <laughs> it was, it was weirdly beautiful. Our lead character, Omri, has a birthday and his friend gives him a small Native American plastic toy. His brother just like garbage picked this really cool old cabinet. I'm like, that's a weird choice for a present for your younger brother, but I want that cabinet. His mom gives him a key that somehow fits in this cabinet, and then his parents got him a skateboard, which does not matter at all. Just filling you in. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about with kind of dark moments though. When the mom gives him the key for the cupboard, she's like, yeah, I collect keys, I have all my life. Oh, that one, the one that you want, the one that fits? Well, that was given to me by my grandmother on her deathbed. It's the only thing I wanted from her. You can have it like super nonchalant, but like, oh my God, this key was like the last thing you got from your grandmother when she was dying. It's like a little sprinkle of like some really, some really intense stuff. So Omri decides to place his plastic Indian in the cupboard and in the morning he wakes up and hears scratching and for some reason the, the Indian is alive. Is it? The cupboard? Is it the key? Is it just Omri? Is it, the, is it the small plastic figure? What is magical about this? Also, what the f <laughs> Who is this made for? This is so weird. It's so weird and it's awkward and it's still like a weird 90s film. But you know what? It has a lot more heart than I was expecting. Something like, you know, I don't know. Kazam had nothing, no heart. <laughs> I feel for these characters at least. Even though the, the the main boy, Omri, he's he's a very he's an awkward little dude. But I don't know, he really truly cares about this toy that's come to life and it's it's sweet. And I don't know, a T-Rex fights Darth Vader, so it's not all that bad. I really love the use of the cupboard and like to bring things in. He brings in like a doctor, he brings in a, a, a guy in armor to take his hatchet so that they can make wood or they can make a house. It was fun. That's a fun thing that like as a kid. You're like, yeah, hell yeah, I want, I wish that those were alive. What a cool thing to see as a child. Like, what would I have brought to life? I don't know. The Power Rangers and Barbie. That'd be awkward though, because I made them kiss a lot. And so to bring them to life, that could be awkward. 
So I liked the use of the cabinet and bringing more things to life until they killed an old Native American mohawk and it's like, okay, well, now we're into murder. So now this movie has taken a turn. We've murdered someone now. We're at that point. Then Omri punts a rat. He's uh, this, this rat is in this like one of those hamster wheel balls and, and, and he punts it because he doesn't want him to get his friend, Little Bear. And it's like, well, that's attempted murder, Omri. So we're like, we're, we've gone way too far, and we're to the point of no return. You have to pump the brakes, buddy. You have to simmer down. You cannot keep murdering small things. Then Omri shows his friend, Little Bear, and his friend is like, well, I want that. Give me, I want a toy to come to life. Give it to me. Give me that toy thing. Do that. So they make a cowboy, and there's the cowboy and Indians. This is very, like, I don't know, Night at the Museum vibes a little bit. But that really just puts everything into chaos. Omri, what have you done? His friend just can't keep his mouth shut and is like trying to tell people and like doesn't take care of his cowboy friends very well. Then the cowboy says, I always cry. I've got a soft heart. It's really sweet. <laughs> so then they take a deer toy and they make it real so that little bear can hunt and have food. And then they're also, they're like gutting him and then they're dealing with this, this racism between cowboys and Indians and like addressing it in a lovely way. There's murder. This movie is pretty real for a kid's film, honestly. Okay. <laughs> then Little Bear tells Omri that he needs a wife. And like, all right, I met my significant other on Plenty of Fish, so I can't really speak on, on that or shame anyone for how they meet people, but putting your love life into the hands of an 11 year old, that's, that's, uh, that's some trust that I will never have. <laughs> Oh God, and then I wrote, what the hell, Little Bear shot the cowboy? This is nuts. There's a rat attack, the key is lost, the cowboy is healed by the doctor character again, and they decide they're going to send back the cowboy and Little Bear. It's, it's a really sweet moment, and also, Omri is really open with Little Bear about what happens to his people in the future. Little Bear's like, are my people always a great people? And Omri's like, yes, because he's so sweet. Yes, they are. I talk very lightly, and it looks like I'm almost always gonna weep at a moment's notice. Anytime, just gonna weep it up, you know what I mean? Yes. <laughs> He's like, uh-oh, but something else happens because I think you're gonna weep. <laughs> and Omri's like, yeah, things aren't always great for y'all. And he still goes back to his life and to his, his cousin that he was helping and to make a man, and like, it's just, it's, it's a beautiful moment. I'm gonna weep too, Omri. I wrote, so weird, so much heart, a little awkward, very sweet, clumsy acting, lovely truth, not Disney. It's that, that weird off-brand dark Disney. I have had this on my list of things to watch since starting Tamers Never Seen, and I put it up on Twitter for a poll, and it didn't get that many responses, so I think this might just be more for me. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how well this is gonna do, but I, Honestly, I really enjoyed this. You will be interested enough to search out the book series, which is so much more magical. Oh, Jessica. I did not know that there was a book series. That's awesome, and I could so see this working so well in a YA series. Aw, oh, it's so cool. Oh my god, one of my favorite childhood flicks. This was my Secondhand Lions, a movie that I watched a million times growing up for some reason. Okay, you'll probably have a been there, done that kind of reaction, but you'll find a cute story. It's directed by Yoda. No, really, Frank Oz directed it. Did not know that. The scene with Darth Vader and Robocop is cool, though you might wonder why he doesn't explore more possibilities with the cupboard. Totally. I wish they would have put that way farther. There was a lot of very quiet, slow scenes, which made it drag a lot more than it needed to, I feel like, uh, because everything else I, I really enjoyed. So that would have been fun. A lot of people are saying that it's boring. It does drag at points, but it has so much heart that I just, I don't know. I thought it was weirdly nice and just wholesome. And I love watching a good wholesome flick. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? That's why I'm wearing this because I wanted to say I love Hey Arnold for that fact. I love the wholesomeness of Hey Arnold. And even if well, no, those were all just so beautiful and great. There weren't really boring ones, but you know, even if there's one where something crazy isn't happening, it's just, it's so cute and wholesome. It's like, yeah, I wanna, I wanna watch that. I want that energy in my life, you know what I mean? So speaking of wholesome, next week I'm watching Street Fighter. Can't wait for that. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys next week. Bye.